this good session by uh where sorry here sorry sorry he talked about he did the book on the subject and by the end of it he had raised more questions then he answered which was part of his objective so we, then we all said don't worry the guy who will give you the answer is coming in deep <laughs> so okay all right all right so anyway this um, place we call astachal um and the word means sunset hill but there are buildings coming up there otherwise they were there were hills when we came here it was all agricultural land there so this is actually uh, you heard um, uh, today you heard avani talk about rituals so in the high school school where i started me and kamal which was on a fort in gwalior this was a ritual every day after sports you have a bath wear your white kurta pajama then you come to astachal and sit for about 10 minutes and see the sun set okay those days in school they didn't tell us why they were getting us to do it right because in school house master someone says sit you sit right you don't ask questions but uh, and i've been active with the school board for many years and many many years ago we built a book the coffee table book of the school which we called as fort pupils all of us in the fort and for that i had interviewed god knows how many people me and a team and we asked everybody what's the one thing that you think school uh, where school made a difference and this is uncanny but every one of them said that that astrachal thing made a difference in reflection not while we were there so now i'm going to make a book just on astrachal we're trying to put that together and essentially i think what people were saying is to get that moment of time as the day is closing as your mind is kind of winding down to be able to reflect on the day was really what was happening so while i cannot institutionalize this ritual for you guys in your life but i do want to just give a few views and then then leave it it's not as much about talking as it is about experiencing and uh, last week i was meeting i was chatting with our earlier chancellor first chancellor was dr karan singh many of you know about him all of you do and he's written many books and he was we were talking about one particular book that he wrote which is uh, titled um, an examined life and so he had sent me a copy earlier i had read through it and i was saying why do you give this title but actually it is in the four word it's apparently a uh, it is a, a, a quote attributed to plato 5th century bc who said uh, an, a life not examined is not worth living so of course there were many explanations of if he said that this was the reason and uh, i won't go into that now that's a thing in itself you can search for it but what he mentioned to me dr karan singh was that we don't reflect enough in life but learning takes place only when reflection happens so i thought that um i just create this few minutes for you to if nothing else force this reflection of you've been here for for one night and a day and we may not get this time tomorrow so i do want you to just start reflecting and i do this with our students where i tell them that this is an appointment with yourself we all do appointments with doctors and lawyers and everybody but when did you last do an appointment with yourself and a daily reflection is a short 5 to 10 minutes reflection appointment with yourself and sunset is just said is that the, you know the life the rhythm of life you many of you saw the sunrise now if you do that regularly and many of us do that who are travelers and who love to go to hills is it it's like the petal opening and the mind opening and you're waking up and your energy is building up that's a natural phenomena if you want to experience it and the setting sun is the day winding down it's like a lotus flower closing and you're reflecting it's a moment in time when you can look back so to simplify it assume you have we had you had recorded everything from the time 
you came in. We could go back and say from the time you were wondering what the hell is going on, what are the guys doing? This is a separate reflection. But from the time you came in and met with people and interacted till now, if you were to do a linear video and then run along that video and any interesting moment stop, wherever it's interesting moment, see what really happened there. And if you can just do it a couple of times to and fro, by then the sun will set. And we may or may not talk about it today, but I may discuss with you when we chat later in the evening or, or tomorrow morning. But at least get you to experience that this appointment with yourself to, to replay and do an examined day, not an examined life, uh, may perhaps give you more conclusion than you have so far about this little over a day. So right now, for you to just watch the setting sun and be with yourself and no talking and no phone, just complete quiet. done it for 10 but doesn't matter so maybe I just want to have a few minutes of very quick open uh, comments anyone who wants to speak and just comment on uh, two things in 30 seconds or less one is that if there's any particular thing that struck you either an interaction with someone or your young Sherpas who are with you or anything that struck you as something extraordinary, which will probably stay with you as a thought. And then a general comment on everything till now, in this day and a half. So, and so she, um, I think, uh, like many other writers, defends the values more than Vijay and I in So it's not because it is a great set of values. I think all of us want to be good. All of us want to do that. All of us want to do that. And so we've articulated what we felt were good things and good people should do. And when they live it, they enjoy it. That it's an internal response, it's not an external thing. So it's people's external response. And even when I was hearing uh, Ajay Goel, who was with us 
for many years straight out of college and then went to many different places been around quite a lot of stuff he's done and then he came to spend time here uh, you you couldn't miss seeing how uh, much he personally kind of owned what had happened the joy of telling you what he was telling you so even when he's relating it after years so i think this is a personal thing it's a very personal thing and she's very much part of that central core so okay if there's no other comment then i'll just <coughs> comment a bit on the comments and then we will uh, it's time for me to hand over to ravi we'll go back to the room so a couple of things um, it it took uh, us a long time i have to say vijay raju myself to get to the core of what drives us took a long time and i'll summarize it in a sentence because i think many of you have got into this field because some of you may have got it because it's exciting but many you have, you may have gotten for this reason that i can say that and i can say this for a very large percentage of folks who are in in the nit brand we have a foundation you saw would have heard sapna you, is that we feel a deep sense of joy when we see people growing gives us a deep sense of joy to see people grow and therefore when we said okay first it was about people and computers together successfully because there was a perceived need there was a gap so it was a more kind of logical thing but again why would one choose why would vijay was running keltron raju was working on a huge project uh, why would they agree not just because we are it guys and we say let's do something together it takes a while to really figure out what is at the core of what we do in life and i can now see that this has been a common factor across many people that they feel a sense of joy when they see growth so the word growth in a vision document comes again and again and again it wasn't consciously built because we said put growth there so this whole thing of connecting with yourself and really finding out why are you doing what you're doing should go alongside with why the hell am i doing what i'm doing is this is the right thing or not is the same question but rather than asking the question when you are confronted with trouble then you look for logical answers it is when something has gone well you are feeling good then you say why am i doing what i am doing and we are trying to inculcate that uh, so as i said from bringing people and computers together as what is driving us it been broad based to uh, helping people to realize their true potential it's much more broad based and in many ways all of you could relate with something like that but it will take different forms your trigger could be different but maybe that's what's stimulating you so when we were looking at the university idea we were saying what kind of student should we get and in the very first little documented publication which happened in 2009 we did say that we are looking for we are not looking for solution finders we are looking for problem seekers we want students who can look for new problems because the world has many problems you can give unique solution that's fine and i was just watching some videos accidentally started off but you know how google works and how youtube works it keeps throwing stuff um on um, this american uh, philosopher linguist I forget his name and come in a minute um let me see i probably have 20 videos showing up um vijay and i have officially reached the rate age and so is parimal and vijay we are allowed to forget okay you haven't reached there you have one year to go okay you have one year to go so let me just see that was uh noam chomsky you heard of noam chomsky okay and he talks about education so i love to read about people's views on education and he says that the world 
has done it to indoctrinate. Whereas the purpose of education is to liberate. So I think this is an articulation of the same feeling we have. The, you know, education, it is education that liberates. So therefore, if people have to liberate, that means they have it in them, it just has to come out. All of you have something in you you are trying to bring out and you're confronting problems and depending on how strong that will is. So for us, when we are searching for students, we are looking for, for holistic, holistic well-rounded people who are not so narrow that stretching their mind will be difficult. So they should come with a fertile, open mind. And, uh, and then we've designed this institution based on our many years of experience to make it industry linked and all of that you would have heard by now. So it's about trying to perpetuate many things we've done. And of course, we are reinventing our main organization as well. We have something called NIT Digital, which is now in the works. So work goes on. I think it goes on continuously. And uh, as, as I conclude, let me just say that I'll leave an objective with all of you as I triggered your, your thoughts as well, that in my experience, I find when I've gone to many conferences, many events, uh, I've come to the conclusion that if from such an event, you make one good friend, and take one workable idea, you should be very excited. Try, don't try and make 10 friends. Well, make acquaintances, as many as you can. Get their numbers, you can, who they are and when you met them or whatever attributes you put. I put down now when I met someone, because sometimes I forget. I say last year, the government, let me look at, search on that. So one good friend, and here could be one good friend among each of you as founders and one from the N NU system, anyone, and one, idea that you want to work on. An idea is not like a task. It's a thought. Many of you have expressed some thought that, oh, values is this, so this is that. And each of you will get different things. The idea is not to indoctrinate. The idea is not all of you should go back with these three lessons. That's, that's not education. That indoctrinate, that does not liberate. And using moments of disappointment with yourself is really to, to let those things come. They're there, but they just get suppressed in, in the in the pressures of life. So I'll close with that and we'll chat some more. So I think we now move to uh, back to the Senate room for a fireside chat. So I'll start a conversation and then leave it to all of you to ask questions. Some of you did say that we want some of us to ask questions.